Hey guys, in this video, I'll be reviewing seven of the most commonly used agency client portals to see how they stack up for a productized use case so you don't have to try them one by one. Let's start with Copilot. Now that we're on Copilot's website, scrolling a little bit down shows us the different features that they have. So they have a CRM, a notification center, messaging features, billing, files, and forms. The first thing I'm thinking here is that the design of their client portal looks quite nice and modern. I think no one's going to have complaints about the way that Copilot looks. Copilot's well known for being easy to use and having a friendly user interface that can be learned by almost anyone, so this checks out. If we go over into the app store that they have, we'll see all the different modules and features that you can enable or disable. One of the things that really caught my eye is you can build a help center for your clients with styling to answer all of their questions very easily using the help desk app. Another thing I'm noticing is that you can easily enable or disable these apps as they're all standalone modules. Copilot, however, falls short when it comes to productized services because it does not allow clients to self-service their own purchases. Instead, you'd have to issue them invoices manually that they have to pay later. And the caveat? You can't even issue invoices if you don't have a bank account connected to your workspace. Another thing that I've noticed is that different plans have different payment fees. We can see this if we go into their pricing, scroll down to the payment processing fees, and you'll see that every plan has a different fee. And finally, which might be a deal breaker for you, all payments go into Copilot's account first before they're sent to your bank account, so they act as a middleman that receives your payments and then sends them over to you. Considering these points, I'd rank Copilot as an A-tier portal for productized agencies. While it has some substantial features that definitely make it worth using, the lack of self-service combined with invoicing issues prevents me from giving it an S-tier ranking. Let's move into the next portal that we have today, our very own Service Provider Pro. SPP is built from the ground up with productized services in mind. We've made sure to build features and functionality for everything you'd need to automate your customer journey from start to finish while minimizing admin tasks. It's as simple as setting up your services, adding them to order forms, and connecting those order forms to the purchase buttons on your website, and you're ready to accept orders. This is an example of what an order form would look like. All the steps the client does are self-service. They land on your sales page, click on the buy now button, go to the order form, submit their information, and then they're taken to an intake form to fill out the information for the order itself so you can get started on the work. Every order has its own messaging thread to keep everything nice and organized as well as allow collaboration for team members. Based on reviews left by clients, the support is very quick and responsive and the help center is informative, helping you get set up without having to reach out by email. You can find more information about SPP's features by visiting our YouTube channel and looking at the other videos we have on there, or visiting our website in the description down below. Similar to other platforms with plenty of features, SPP might have a steeper learning curve, and the ability to build custom functionality and designs on top of SPP is only possible if you have a developer on your team. Given that we're specifically designed for productized agencies, and a bit of bias of course, I'd have to rank SPP as an S-tier client portal in this list. Next up, we're looking at Clinked.com. One of the main things I noticed about Clinked was that their portal is built to share files with your customers and getting feedback from them easily. You can allow clients to comment on previews directly to point out where they want changes, ask them for approvals on each document, log documents to prevent further changes, and many more features. Now, while Clinked has all of these features that you can leverage for your agency, the main issue that prevents me from recommending Clinked for a client portal is that there is no self-service options for clients meaning that there's no way for them to purchase services on their own. This is mainly because Clinked has no payment integrations and no quoting or invoicing features to allow for client self-service. Without these key features that allow for client self-service, you'll need to do a lot of manual admin work as a productized agency, and as such, I'd have to rank Clinked as a B-tier portal for productized agencies. Next up, we're looking at another one of the massive project management softwares that everyone knows, Basecamp. They have a client portal feature that you can use to share information with your clients in an organized manner. There's a lot to like about Basecamp's client portal features. You're able to track what needs to be done, schedule things so you don't forget them, share files, show clients what the progress of their orders are, etc. Basecamp is easy to learn, they have a great support team as well as fair pricing, and given how long Basecamp has been around, it makes sense that they have a ton of integrations as well. They also have an official mobile app that you or your clients can download. On a negative side though, you're looking at a lack of tags or labeling functionality as well as no analytical tools or reporting features. Another issue with Basecamp's client portal is the low potential for customizations. For example, you can turn notifications on or off exclusively without the ability to customize what notifications you'd like to have or not. Another issue I've seen a few complaints about is that message management can also be difficult, which leads to overcrowded pages. 
Personally, my biggest gripe with Basecamp is that you have to manually add projects and invite your clients to them, which isn't the ideal flow you're looking for if you're running a productized agency. While it's undoubtedly a massive project management software, its client portal features are lacking if you're setting up a productized agency, which is why I'll be ranking it as a B-tier client portal. Next up, we're going to be looking at SweetDash. SweetDash is definitely up there when it comes to business management, and while they have a lot of features, they provide a feature that allows you to set up custom dashboards for each of your clients, which has a lot of customizable options that you can leverage. They also have a strong reputation and are well known for their top tier support team. One of the coolest things that stood out to me with SuitDash was their pre-built template library here. This is full of useful templates of pre-built dashboards, forms, proposals, portal pages, and even email campaigns. This is a great way to reduce the learning curve a little bit for brand new clients while also being a very helpful resource for existing clients. Speaking of easing the learning curve, one of the main issues with SuitDash is the amount of features that it has. This creates a huge learning curve for clients and makes it difficult to get set up and comfortable as a user. I've also seen a few client reviews that mention that it gets slow sometimes. Another thing I've noticed is that the interface can use a rework as it has a bit of a dated look which is understandable given how long SweetDash has been around. Given that these issues are relatively minor and SweetDash checks many of the boxes for productizing, I definitely rank SweetDash as an S tier dashboard for productized services. Next up, we're looking at something that everyone's familiar with. Google Sheets. To get started, the best part about Google Sheets is that it's free to use. It also requires minimal training to get someone on data entry, it's infinitely customizable, and you can integrate your spreadsheets into other tools directly like SPP. Spreadsheets also has a huge amount of templates that you can adapt and build on due to its massive user base. Now while Spreadsheets is an S-tier data storage system, it's unfortunately not a great fit for productized agencies because Sheets aren't very user-friendly. They're also quite insecure, which puts user data at risk. It's hard to tell who made changes and when, and there's no native integrations for you to leverage. If you're inviting your clients into your sheets, which you have to do manually, it's quite difficult for them to make out what is being said on the sheet as it can get quite complicated. They're also extremely difficult to scale and lack easy reporting tools. Given these negatives, along with the fact that you can't do invoicing or collect payments via sheets at all, I score Google Sheets a C on our productized client portal ranking. And the last client portal we're looking at today is Bubble.io. Bubble is a full stack, no code app builder. It allows you to put together something that you need without the extra stuff that you don't. It's great for one man armies and works really well to help you materialize your vision. The cool thing is you're literally able to do whatever you want because you're building the app from scratch so you can make it look and feel however you prefer. Their support is solid and they have a healthy community that is super helpful combined with good guides and tutorials to help you get the ball rolling. Their interface has a nice design, they offer lots of features, and finally, they have a free plan if you're just getting started. On a negative side, considering that it's a no-code platform where you can still build everything you'd like off a database and plugins, it has one of the highest learning curves of all the portals I mentioned today, while also having limited functionality as you can't create custom features due to it being no-code. The pricing can get really expensive very quickly as well, based on the templates and plugins that you end up needing from the marketplace. There's also an issue that performance can get quite clunky because of the amount of features that you can stack on top of each other and it becomes difficult to scale for larger teams. Given the benefit that you can literally build your own app on Bubble and taking into account the issues I mentioned today, I'd rank Bubble a comfortable B-tier client portal. If you'd like to see more helpful tips and guides, check out our YouTube channel. And if you're looking for a dedicated client portal software that will have all the features you'd expect for a productized agency, check out SPP by description down below.